uh, against the, the, the rest of the market as well. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us Thank today. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Sustainability and diversity in tech were some of the key trends at this year's Mobile World Congress, says Greg Kurehe, global TMT leader at EY. I spoke to him to find out how will these themes impact businesses and transform businesses in the coming days and what are the innovations that will shape the tech and media landscape in the coming months? Let's find out. At the Mobile World Congress, I'm catching up with Greg Kadehe, Global TMT Leader, EY. Welcome to CNBC TV 18. Great. Thanks, Shabani. Glad to have you, uh, be here with you. Uh, at the Mobile World Congress, Greg, what is the most interesting tech that you have witnessed so far? And what is the most impressive one that you've witnessed? Well, I think it's actually the tech itself is really impressive, but it's not just the tech. I think one of the things that's really been a focus that I think is everywhere here this year is the energy situation, especially with what's going sure. on geopolitically, has really gotten everybody real about sustainable consumption by tech. Yeah. And, you know, telcos are huge, huge users of energy. Um, but now it's not just a societal imperative. It's now it's a financial necessity to adopt green tech. And it's everything from wearables to low or no energy sensors, uh, things that were theoretical, maybe the last couple of shows yeah. that are now actually in production. I think that's been really, really impressive. But I think a couple of other things are impressive as well is this used to be very telco centric a decade ago, and then it became B2B tech focused, layered on. Mm. But now it's what I call the emergence of convergence. Uh, there is every industry you can possibly think about here. And it's not just industry either. Government is now here saying, how can we use communications and tech to not only impact our citizens, but do so in a more sustainable way. So I think that's been very impressive. And one other point is the whole notion of diversity here. The participation base in every dimension you can possibly think of is here. And I think in particular, we've seen on stage or on the floor, way more female CEOs mm. who are really great role models for people who want to come into telco mm. and tech. So it's been the tech, but it's also been the people and the, the companies that are taking this and making actual usage of it. So what are the trends that you've picked up from here that will shape the media? Well, landscape? it's part of an overall trend. I think you've seen it is a lot of theoretical discussion of AI last year. Yeah. Again, a really fast pivot to practical AI in general, especially AI at the edge. Mm. But generative AI, mm. I think this is a big one in, in your industry, yeah. right? It, generating images uh, in some other industries, mind generating code. So the fact that you're going to be able to have you know, machine learning that can then generate things, hmm. that is a big trend I think is going to affect media. There's a lot of discussion of metaverse as well, but I think metaverse is something that is accepted. How fast that happens is going to be dependent on some of the communication networks. But the notion of generative AI, it's again, no longer theoretical. It's going into the reality rather quickly. And how transformational is it? Because generative AI, uh, uh, you know, chat GPT, metaverse mm -hmm, are some mm -hmm. of the things that have been discussed at large over the past one, one and a half year or so. Right, right. Uh, you know, how transformative is it going to be for the industry, uh, you know, in the years to come? Well, I think it's, even in our industry as a, as a service provider, it's going to be very transformative very quickly. We're using those things ourselves to take the things that are routine, you know, knowledge searches and things like that, that, that you may need a bunch of people to go do things to now re rel relatively quickly using AI to do that. We're actually doing that within our own organization. Sure. So I think it's huge. But it's actually the other thing is people tend to think in the old way of thinking that, okay, they release this, it does that. That's not how it's working with generative AI. Mm. You've seen some things in the last few months where, oh, we didn't expect that would happen. That's quickly tuned out. It learns itself and it starts to replicate a new way of providing service. And just think about that connected across many companies. Mm. It's going to be really, really fast. Yeah. You would be in talks with a lot of clients over here at MWC. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what are the top concerns of these C-suite clients of yours? Well, it's funny. We'll get back to the energy thing. I would say the energy, it's, it's sustainability, but it's also energy as a cost. Hmm. Because many of these businesses are very huge, hmm. but especially in telecommunications, their margins are very thin. So if you think if your energy costs just doubled or tripled, hmm. you're really be So that has been a big, big conversation with them. And it's also to your earlier point on devices. If consumers are spending on a lot of other things, how much do they have to spend on the next mobile? 
Sure. So it's been really a lot about cost structure, but to, to make sure that they're reaching price points hmm. that consumers of all demographics can really engage hmm. with. So I think that's been a big part of it. With that, it's a wrap on Sorry About This Week. I hope you enjoyed our Mobile World Congress special show from Barcelona. Goodbye.